Oh, what's up guys, Sam Acevedo here. Welcome back to the channel. Standing in front of my 335. So 335 has basically everything, uh, all bolt-ons done to it. So we got the downpipe, we have the charge pipe, we have the intercooler, uh, maintenance is done, spark plugs, coils. I don't have a axle back yet or an exhaust put in. I don't think I need it. Uh, if I wanted to go deeper tone, I'll probably go with the VRSF, but we'll see. So for today's video, what I'm going to work on is the suspension. Now the suspension has 90,000 miles on it. It does have some clangs to it. It does make a little bit of noise. By no means is it bad. However, for me to be comfortable in it, for me to push the car a little bit, especially through turns, uh, I need a little bit more dampening. So I went ahead and bought a cold over kit. Let me take you to the, the kit. I'll show you what's in the box, uh, what's included, uh, what you may need to get, uh, and then I will install it on, on the car and then show you a before and after of, of the coils. Guys, before we get started, if you guys could do me a favor, hit the like if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below, it definitely helps a lot. Also, if you want to go over to uh, Instagram and check me out on Sam Ace Garage, I'll be putting some behind the scenes and some pictures on, on all cars that I have. All right, let's get started. I went with the ICS coilovers. I bought them from ECS Tuning. Here they are. This is the f one of the front ones. I mean, this thing looks awesome. It's got, you can adjust it at the top here. I mean, look at the colors. Not the, just the black and gold looks amazing. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with the front. We'll do the front suspension and then we'll do the rear. And we'll uh, drop it back to the ground, see if we have to adjust it. Uh, eventually I have to more than likely get an alignment, but I can't wait, I'm excited. Okay, so I jacked up the car. It's on a stand now. I'm gonna remove the tire and get, let's get started. Uh, this is not gonna be in a how-to video, there's plenty out there. Uh, this is my first time doing this on this car, so I'm just going to take you through the process. If I have a hiccup, you're going to see it. Okay, snag number one. I already had to go to AutoZone. Or uh, actually, it was uh, Advanced Auto Parts. So I loosened the top bolts here. There's two bolts to remove from in here. Uh, it drops, but it's it gets stuck up top. So I had to go ahead and rent spring compressors. So I'm going to attach those, compress this, and then remove the... Uh, the suspension here.
Okay, so the uh, spring compressor did the trick. There's the there's the strut or the sticking out. Thank goodness for this tape. Make sure you got that. Now I have to get into here and use this spreader tool, and I'll put a link in the description. This will open up the spindle, the where it's sitting in in the hub here. The front driver's side spring and strut is out. Not bad, other than the first mishap of not having a spring compressor. But let me show you what they look like. So the one on the left is obviously the OEM. The one on the right is the new one. Major difference. So the OEM one has like three inches, but I'm pretty sure that this bottom half is not used, it's just dead space. So if I line up the two clips here where the end links go. Okay, so this one doesn't have, that one gets inserted into the knuckle, just around the same area, but that sticks lower. But now we're gonna put the new one in. Okay, so before we put it in, uh, we have to set the preload. Now, out of the box, not set up, all we have to do is make sure that this spring is, is uh, snug. So what we'll do is, preload adjustment, we have to move this collar up, right, five millimeters. Once it's up five millimeters, we're good, we lock it in place, and then we can set our, our height, and then we can put it in. up against it and then I'm gonna hold this so that won't move I'm gonna tighten this so that can go up five millimeters So now that that's set, I'm going to lock this to lock that. You hold the top one in place and then you push the top one up. Preload is set. So now we just adjust the height. I think that's what I want. It's a guessing game. So 
I'm a, I'm guessing the the height. I use the the bracket here to kind of eye it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna measure this just to get that measurement for the other side, so I can have a good starting point, and then see if I have to adjust it after that. So now I'm going to pop it in, I'm going to screw the top bolts first, and then I'll, I'll do the bottom. Okay, so the coilover is in place. The uh, sway link is in place. I had a issue with the top one, only uh, I had a drop from the top a little bit, just so I don't uh, mess up the thread on the, on the screw. Uh, other than that, the, the only issue I had was on the, the coilover itself, on the strut, um, on the OEM strut, there are two there's like a like a like indicator of some sort to to place into the knuckle. The new one doesn't have it, but it does have two holes that I use as a guide. Everything's bolted up. This is at its longest, right? This is the, the highest it will go, uh, and I needed to do it do it that way to put in the the sway link. Now I'm gonna put the wheel on and see how high it is and then we'll we'll do some measuring from there Okay, so for you, instant. For me, about six days later. Wasn't due to any issues, only because I just ran out of time that day when I first started. Uh, and then, uh, you know, had a work week and I'm ready to, 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 to start it up again. However, front end is done, no issues. The only one snag was to go ahead and, and rent the, uh, the spring compressors for the removal. The first side was, uh, you know, I would say it, it took me maybe 35, 45 minutes to do both sides. The second side was uh, a lot faster. Um, it's really not that hard. None of my bolts were seized. Nothing was stuck. Uh, I didn't really have to use PB Blaster. I mean, I'm, I'm using a, uh, an impact wrench, so it, it's pretty easy. R the ride is pretty good. I mean, 100% better. Uh, I've used it a couple times only because of, you know, I'm not raked in any direction. It's at stock height. It rides amazing, so I can't wait. I'm excited to finish the back. So right now, I pulled it in the other way only because uh, this pole's in my way, uh, so I really can't work on the back if I had reversed it in. So now I'm gonna go in and remove the, some of the trunk uh, lining and then get started on the back. 
Let's do this. So I took all the clips off, and I'm, I'm not gonna remove this altogether. But here's what you gotta get into. The rear was a pain in the butt. I think I messed up in removing the spring at the same time as the strut, which made it 10 times harder. I had to use two jacks to level it out. Now let me show you how it looks. So here are the two jacks. One on the control arm, one underneath the hub. There's the coil, the spring. The adjustment sitting at the bottom, which is but anyways, I'm gonna remove the jacks, put the tire back on, and see where we're at. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to adjust it quite a bit. Actually, it looks higher than before. So we're gonna raise it back up. Actually, I should probably do the other side. The job is... Uh, complete. Front suspension in, back suspension in. The, the back is a little higher than I expected. Uh, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna drive it for a week or two, let it settle, and then readjust. I can't wait to to drive this thing now, even with a preview of how the front felt. I mean, it feels amazing. The quality of the coilovers are top notch. You can grab these for under a thousand dollars. You know, it gives you 32 way adjustable camber in the front. I mean, you can't go wrong. So I'm gonna drive this thing for a bit. Let it settle, readjust, uh, you know, height, and then get it aligned, um, and then we'll see where we're at. Um, this wraps up this video for this install. However, keep watching the channel. Again, like, comment, subscribe. We have a lot of things coming. 
Uh, we have a tune for the car, and we have a lot of goodies for the S2000. All right, guys, I'll check you out on the next one. The only thing for adjustment purposes, this is a straight up pain in the butt, okay? There are some videos out there that will show you that you put this in the top, and I guess that's because that's how it is on other cold over sets, but it shows, now this is gonna be screwed in, but it shows you putting it at the top of the spring, but that's incorrect. For, the, for this cold over set, this goes at the bottom, this plate comes out and it sandwiches the lower control arm. So this goes underneath the lower control arm, this goes on top of it, and then you screw it in here and you sandwich the LCA. Once that's in, the spring then goes on top and then you reuse, you reuse the top cap. Again, it's incorrect if you put it at the top. I'm, a, I'm sure you can still it's still functional, but this is for safety. This way, the this doesn't come off uh, the car when uh, when you hit a bump. So again, this tightens here out of the box. It's going to come like this. It's going to come like that. You're not going to know, so you're going to assume because you've seen other coilovers that you put this at the top. This way, you can adjust. I wish, I. 100% more easy. If this was at the top, this way you could adjust here. Now look, just to keep in mind, this is not even slammed. And I only have about uh, two threads left, not even. So I'm hoping it lowers it enough. All right, so I'm gonna put this on and then show you the result. So remember, if you get the ISC coilover set, now this is from them, you must install this at the bottom and this comes off because in the box it's screwed all the way in like that. You take it off, it goes underneath the LCA, this goes on top and then you sandwich it together. This way this doesn't move. Problem is that this sits inside of the OEM lower control arm and it's very hard to adjust this. So what I had to do was actually remove the entire thing to, to adjust this spindle here. So that's what I'm doing now.